Have you ever wondered what makes video games bad? Today, we're going to find out. Watch as I play all of the games I've made in the last six months. I'm going to be showing you things I haven't even posted about before. Some of these games are available to play on my itch, and I'm working on making more of them playable for you guys to play. I've worked really hard on this video and all of these games, so I would really appreciate a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 50 likes. Okay, to start with, let's talk about Rogue Rectangle. Rogue Rectangle is my most talked about game, with three devlogs. It is also my most complete game, featuring rectangle, triangle, square, and circle. The different enemy types give the game good variety and makes it quite fun to run around like Naruto. Movement-wise, the game has pretty snappy movement and a dash ability, however the jump may be a little floaty. I even added a shop with cosmetics you can work towards and equip. You can play this game now on my itch. It is by no means good, however it can be pretty fun smashing up the shapes with your physics-based shurikens. Another YouTuber by the name of... even made a video about the game. Overall, I would rate this game a solid 5 out of 10 being my first game turned into a full build. This next game I made in only two days as part of the GMTK Game Jam. Now, this game, <laughs> let's just say I've learnt a lot from my own mistakes. This game had to follow the theme roles reversed, so naturally I made a clone of asteroids, but with the roles reversed. You play as an asteroid, smashing into spaceships as a space commander is targeting you with his fleets of spacecraft. However, I did vary the combat by making you have to duke the AI into shooting their own ships. And also, there's a secret in the boss level. The voice lines are cringe, but fairly complete for my first game jump. 4 out of 10. Next, again, is a fairly complete game. This game was a horror game I made in only 48 hours. It featured one jump scare, so there isn't much replayability. But it was my first 3D project, so I was really proud of the outcome. In only two days, the sound effects really make this game. I focused on making it as immersive as possible. Overall, this game is decent, 7 out of 10. Now, Rage platformers took the internet by storm, with titles such as Jump King and Getting Over It. And I had never collaborated before. A friend and I had started the same course in university, so naturally we made a game together. This project took three days and we named it Cellar Slime. You play as a slime collecting as much booze as possible, and it only has three levels and simple movement. Regardless, the OST is banging, six out of 10. This project is a grappling mechanic I was playing around with. I started making a game with this. The game Time Tunnel was going to be a speed running 3D platformer. I only stopped because of how many other YouTube game devs have made grappling games. I simply couldn't compete. However, this gets a five out of 10 as the mechanic is truly good fun. Next is a project that I'm working on at the moment. This is a project I'm trying to focus on narrative. I have implemented a dialogue system and a very unique art style. It is about a mysterious shadow-like boy venturing through a weird landscape. When this is finished, I will make it available to play on my it page. Don't make these common mistakes, you need to watch this video. Anyway guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.